Okay, today I'm going to be referring to these formula. We'll be talking about using a GWS EP8040 model airplane propeller to determine the torque and the power dissipation of Orbit turning at a given RPM. Now N in these formulas means prop speed in kilo RPMs, okay? So the torque is given by the power law, <laughs> Frank, pay attention, 0 0.88 times N squared. That is the prop speed in kilo RPMs squared. And the power dissipation of that propeller at a given RPM is 93.0 times N cubed where N is the prop speed in kilo RPMs, okay? So over here, I have, or bet, I'm not gonna stop it until after the experiment, so you can see the, uh, or after the demonstration, rather, and I'll show you the propeller then, but or bet is spinning along. We're not charging the battery. We have the diode switched to the optimum position, the recirculating position. And we have these parameters. I'm running it off of the uh, Elenco 5 volt power supply, going 5 volts. And we're filtering it through this 1,000 microfarad, or excuse me, uh, 10,000 microfarad capacitor, which got rid of all of the nastiness in the scope traces, as you can see. And uh, we're going input power is uh, 4.33, call it 32 volts, uh, at an average current of 2.21 amps, and we are going right now 72 hertz okay and uh, I can't find my garage sale calculator for some reason so I had to go dig out my real calculator um, apologize for that I don't know where it is this room some somewhere in this room uh, there is a calculator another my usual regular old uh, trusty garage sale sharp calculator or Casio rather somewhere in here Somewhere, there's bound to be a calculator. I don't know where. Where is that thing? I don't know. I don't know where it is. But anyway, um, we are going. Let's just call it 72 hertz times 15 equals uh, 1080. So let's just use 1,000 RPM because that's a good number, okay? So let's call this 1,000 RPM. I'll slow down a little bit from the draft in here. Okay, so. 1,000 RPM is pretty accurate, swinging that prop at those input parameters, okay? So 1,000 RPM is, of course, 1.0 kilo RPMs, which makes these calculations exceptionally easy, doesn't it? Okay, so right now, this motor is offsetting the torque of that propeller. It's producing, since it's traveling at a constant speed, we are producing 0 0.88. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to put the units down. Huh. Didn't I? Excuse me. This is in... Milli Newton meters. Okay, so that's what we've got. We've got 0 0.88 milli Newton meters is the torque that we're pushing right now out of that motor, and the power dissipation is actually given in milliwatts by this equation. So we are dissipating, with the propeller, we're dissipating 93 milliwatts, since we're going 1.0 kilo RPMs, right? 
and we are estimating that the uh, rotor itself may only dissipate 10 milliwatts on the order of, since it's pretty clean aerodynamically. So let's call it 100 milliwatts on the order of power dissipation by the rotor and propeller right now and bearings right now against losses right now right here that's 100 milliwatts rotor power dissipation with propeller and we are giving it input the input parameters let's see here clear 4.31 times just roughly 2.2 equals call it 10 watts input. Now that's, the, since the current value is an average value, the duty cycle is sort of mashed, mashed up in there. We could take a more, more accurate reading, but it would come out to something on that order, but actually a little bit higher than that. Okay, So let's just call it 10 milliwatts. <coughs> that's fair. Or, excuse me, uh, 10 watts input power and we're dissipating a hundred milliwatts so we are dissipating here one percent of the total input power into this thing and the rest of it we presume is being wasted in vibration and heating and noise and all the rest of that so if you change the load, let's let's say you change the power dissipation by a hundred percent. You double the power dissipation of the rotor or half it by whatever experimental manipulation you're going to do. That means you've gone from 99.5 percent power wasted to 98.5 percent power wasted or something like that. You're still not going to be able to detect it by looking at the width of some oscilloscope trace unless you look at it at very high resolution and very high precision. <coughs> okay, excuse me. Okay, so now I'll stop the thing. I just unplugged the negative power lead so you can see this this uh, remarkably sophisticated power measurement device here that cost me all of a dollar forty nine. <coughs> Alright, now this thing's been blowing up and it does create quite a draft. Upwards, I mean, not up. It does create a pretty good draft. That's a. Let's see. That thing is about. Uh, 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 that's 200 millimeters or eight inches. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a frog in my throat. Thanks for watching.